What is up guys, the DBK videos. I make military content, put it on the internet for you to enjoy if you want. My social media is in the description down below. Uh, Instagram, second channel where I do live streams. I think there's a Patreon link. Bunch of stuff, you should go check it out. However, today we're gonna be talking about writing letters in boot camp or receiving letters from someone who is in boot camp. During boot camp, you get two phone calls and two phone calls only. The first one is when you're starting off boot camp, you pretty much just call your mom, hey mom, I'm here. No one answered for me. Second way, half through boot camp, you can call, you know, your mom, your girlfriend, whatever. Be like, hey mom, hey, you know, girlfriend, I'm here. Again, neither answered for me. And, uh, <laughs> which means the only way of communicating with your loved ones is through mail. Now, um, I feel like a lot of newer age kids, I'm only 22, but even kids younger than me, I feel like they probably never wrote a letter before. Um, so we'll be going over how you write letters in boot camp, how people can reach you in boot camp, the mailing address, specific addresses. You guys are gonna wanna save this uh, video. Save it in your favorites box or something. Also, leave a like while you're at it because I'm literally going to give you the address for every single possible ship you could be stationed at while in boot camp. So after you get through week one processing week, you're going to go over to the main side of boot camp where you'll be stationed in your ship. Each ship gets a number, so one through like 14. There's a ship 17, but it's like 14 to 17, and 17 is like a special ship, whatever. So focus on one through 14. Each one has a ship, and each recruit will be placed in a division. Those are two facts you're going to need to know, which means to initiate... Uh, the mail process the recruit himself has to send out the first letter to get the information to your parents girlfriend What have you a good tip is give someone access to your social media site have their address Written on a note card in your wallet what I did I carried around a note card with addresses numbers and stuff like that So when it came time to write I could write to that person and say hey log into my Instagram or Facebook post this so everyone can send me letters Because boot camps gonna be depressing and letters are gonna make you feel good Looking back, I wish I would have kept my boot camp letters because that, that would have been something cool to throw in a box. Now they're gone uh, forever. And now that, like, you know, my grandma's passed away, I can't read the cute little boot camp letter she sent me, which was super funny because, uh, you know, it's boot camp, you're going through some hardcore stuff, and then you get, like, a little letter with, like, a, a tiger on it with some balloons around it saying, Hey, Donnie, uh, hope things are well. <laughs> my grandma, sweet lady. But on week two, you're gonna have the opportunity to go to the NEX, Navy Exchange, buy a notepad, it'll have like recruit training at the top, buy pens, buy envelopes, and buy stamps. Those are the three needed things to send a letter. You can write letters literally every single night before bed. Um, they'll be like, all right, taps, everyone get in the rack. If you're not on duty, you can just be in your bed with a flashlight writing letters to your loved ones. Every single Sunday, they're gonna take the letters and send them out. Once your letter reaches its destination and they have their your address, they can send, then send back letters every single day. So you can get letters throughout the week. Um, whenever your division does mail call, they'll pick them all up, whatever letters are there. They go back to your compartment and your RDC hands them out. Your RDC does not look through your mail, all right? If you have packages, they might look at the package. Your RDC does not go through an envelope and start reading your letters. As, as dumb as I have to say that, uh, some people think RDCs will start reading your love letters aloud. Obviously, there's super <laughs> legal implications uh, with mail. So don't worry about that. Honestly, the only things you can send anyway are letters and pictures. I saw this one mom send her recruit like cookies and shit and the uh, RDCs I think gave them an option to like eat one or two cookies and then either send the rest back or just toss them. So hey, one or two cookies and threw them out. Uh, so don't be that one. On the letter, uh, this is how you're gonna format it. I would just go ahead and save this video right now so you can look back on this format or if you wanna write it down off the video, really it's up to you. And if you don't know your sailor's name, all that stuff, but you have the ship he's in, uh, you can then address it to this and they'll disseminate the message, the message to him. So hypothetically, if you don't have everything on him, you can really just send it to any of those ships and I'm sure they'll get the mail to him eventually and or just send it back to you. Normally, they'll just look in the database, oh, Seaman Recruit Johnson, he's ship 14, send it that way. You know, no big deal. In the center is who the message is going to, in the top left is the return and then in the top right is your stamp. If things are heavier, you might have to use multiple stamps. Some people had their parents that were like really into football and stuff They would have their parents print off the scores of like every NFL Sunday's games and like send it to them or like newspaper clippings for them to read I used to have my ex-girlfriend send me pictures of herself um, Apparently it was the same pictures the other college dudes were getting but <laughs> I need to stop with these jokes. They're just so funny 
Um, but yeah, I highly recommend uh, actually taking the time to write letters. Now I know there's gonna be some people watching this. Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save this video. I'm not gonna write letters. Trust me, you're gonna want to write letters. You're gonna be bored as hell. You're gonna be training like almost 99.9% .9 of your time. You're not gonna have a lot of free time. And the free time you do have, you did, you get to correspond with people outside via letters. It's it's a unique experience growing up. You're not gonna do it. Obviously, in this day of age, everyone has fucking cell phones and Facebook and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool to sit back and write a hand lettered letter. Well, right. <laughs> Why'd I just sound like Scooby Doo? It's cool to sit back and write a handwritten letter. I write handwritten letters to all my Patreon members. If you guys don't know, I have a Patreon down below. If you want to become a Patreon, support the channel, you will get a handwritten letter for me and a DWK sticker. Um, they're pretty dope. So if you want to become a Patreon and have me send you a letter during boot camp, I can do that too. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed more videos tomorrow. I'll see ya.